to represent. And they tell your neighbor, it's time to represent. And they look at somebody and tell them, neighbor, and if you're going to be a part of this, and it's time to represent. Amen. If you're going to say, amen, that you belong to the church and that you are called of God, it's time to represent. Identify yourself. Who are you? Oh, somebody give him praise and glory. He's calling, he's calling us back to life. He's calling us. Can, can I go ahead? To live is not just existing. Amen. Just showing up at church, amen, doesn't mean, thank you God, amen, that we are available to God. Amen. Can I get some help? Amen. Or that we are sold out to this thing called salvation. Y'all help me up in here. To some people, it's just a social club. Amen. It's just a, a gathering that we come together. For some people, glory to God, amen, they just show up so they don't feel guilty. Glory to God, amen, by Sunday night. But tell your neighbor, you can be in the church, uh, amen, and still not be in the church. Is anybody going to talk to me up in here? And it doesn't matter how many roles you got your name on. And it doesn't matter what position you're holding in the church. Glory to God. If you are not in God, then you are not in the church. I wish somebody could help me up in here. Glory to God. Amen. And if you are not, amen, living in the church, if you are not living in God, and you are just existing, that means hanging around the church, and hanging around calls, and hanging around positions, hanging around, uh, amen, you are still not in God. Uh, can somebody say amen? Uh, so tell your neighbor, neighbor, uh, why die when you can live? Uh, we don't have to walk around, uh, glory to God, bumping into things. Uh, we don't have to walk around, uh, amen, like dead men walking. Uh, amen, we can walk around in power. I wish somebody could help me. Walk around in authority. Uh, can I get some help? Uh, amen, the closer it gets, to the coming of the Lord. Amen. The more power you ought to be walking in. The more authority. Amen. You ought to be walking in. The devil ought to say, Amen. Don't fool with her. Amen. Don't fool with him. Because they will cast you out. Is there anybody in the house that still believe in the power that you can cast out devils? I wish somebody could talk to me today. Tell your neighbor, why die? When you can live, can, can I go ahead? To, to, to live is not just existing. You, you, to live, you got to live on purpose. My God, my God, we we gonna we we gonna tell your neighbor, you got to live on purpose. Amen, amen. The, the reason why so many people, amen, are giving up is because they don't have no more purpose in God. Thank you, God. Amen. When, when they were in need and they needed something, amen, and they went to God and they sought the Lord for it, amen, then they messed around and got it, amen, and now I got it and I don't need him anymore. I don't have a purpose for going to church. I don't have a purpose for going to Bible study. I ain't got a purpose for coming to prayer. I ain't got a purpose for coming to Sunday school. I don't have a purpose for that, amen. So you know what? Amen. I got to do my own thing. I wish somebody could help me, but you ought to stop your foot and say the devil is a liar, Amen. You ain't got no thing, baby. Can somebody help me up in here? Because how many know one day, amen, everything you think you got, amen, going to be stripped from you. And if you ain't got the real thing, amen, tell your neighbor, ain't nothing like the real thing. Is anybody going to preach, amen, I've been preaching on this morning. Amen, tell them ain't nothing like the real thing. Amen, you can have this whole world. Amen, give me Jesus. I'd rather have Jesus. Amen, because see, that's going to be enough. Amen, if everything that you got, amen, is in this world only, honey, you're going to be miserable. Yes, you are. Amen, because you know what? Amen, one day we're going to be up out of here. Amen, and we're leaving all of this behind. And we're going back with the Lord, who's going away to prepare a place for us. You ought to look at somebody and tell them, neighbor, I got a mansion up in glory, and I'm not going to let nothing stop me from moving in. Somebody give him praise and glory. Can, can, can I have a few more minutes of your time? Thank you, God. Amen. God did not call us and empower us just for us to exist. Amen. Just to show up. 
amen, just to say present. Amen, nothing gets done for the kingdom just because you show up. How many of there's a work to be done? Come on, there's a devil, amen, to be destroyed. And there's a God to be glorified. Somebody clap your hands and give him praise and glory. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. There is a reason why you live. David said in Psalms 118, 17 through 18, we believe it was David. He said, I shall not die, but live to declare the works of the Lord. And my question today is, amen, why ain't the people of God declaring this today? Amen. Why, why, why are we not talking like this today? Glory to God. Amen. We're living the worst time that we've ever known. Glory to God. Amen. Some of us since we have lived. Can somebody say amen in the house? Amen. And I'm not just talking, amen, natural things. I'm not talking, glory to God, about food shortage. Y'all help me up in here. Glory to God, gas shortage. And amen. The height of everything. I'm not talking about that. Amen. But I'm talking in a, about in a day, amen, where all kinds of spirits, y'all help me, amen, and strongholds, wickedness, uh, glory to God, is on our own time. Uh, uh, is anybody going to help me preach it today? Uh, amen. Where people, amen, are walking in, the, amen, the state of delusion. Amen. They're messed up in their minds. Uh, amen. They, they, they rather believe a lie, amen, than to believe the truth. Uh, amen. Tell your neighbor, we are in bad times. These are evil times. Amen. These are wicked times. Can I get some help? Uh, amen. And you would think that the people of God, uh, amen, that know their God, uh, amen, when the Bible says that we shall do great exploits, uh, amen, you would think the people of God, uh, amen, will stand, uh, amen, on the highest platform, uh, amen, and declare that I shall live and not die. I wish somebody could talk to me up in here. Amen. The reason why, amen, so many can't declare this, uh, Amen. It's because of the latter part. Amen. Of this particular verse. Amen. He said, I shall live. Amen. And not die. Amen. To do what? Amen. To declare the works of the Lord. Amen. So if you ain't declaring nothing, amen, then you ain't got no purpose to live. Can I get some help? Amen. We're wondering why. Amen. So many people are backsliding. Amen. So many people are giving up. So many people are walking away from holiness. And then so many people are giving up. Uh, glory to God. You know why? Uh, amen. Because they don't have a reason to live this. Uh, is anybody going to talk to me up in here? Uh, amen. They don't have a reason. Uh, amen. Because they don't love this. Uh, amen. But for those of us. Uh, amen. That still believe it like this. Uh, look at your neighbors and say, uh, do you still believe it like this? Uh, do you still believe that the Bible is right uh, and everybody else is wrong? Uh, somebody shout amen in the house. Uh, and if you believe it like that, uh, then you will live it like that. Uh, you will declare the works of the Lord. It's time to declare the works of the Lord. Tell your neighbor, it's time for you to open your mouth. And declare the works of the Lord. If you know it, you better preach it. And if you know it, you better live it. If you know it, you better teach it. You better declare it. Glory to God. You better cry loud and spare not. Uh, the Bible says, lift up your voice like a trumpet in Zion. Show my people their transgressions uh, and the house of Jacob their sins. He's talking about the church. Uh, he's not talking about the world. Uh, how many know it's time to get the sin out of the church? Uh, it's time to get foolishness out of the church. Uh, can I get some help up in here? And if you don't want to change, uh, it's time to keep you out of the church. It's time to get out the way. Tell your neighbor, get out the way. Get out the way. If you ain't going to preach it right, get out the pulpit. If you ain't going to sing it and live it, amen, then stop singing. If you're not going to live it, amen, stop teaching one thing and living another. Is anybody going to help me up in here? Come on and tell your neighbor, neighbor, if you don't believe this thing, then you can't stand. Somebody clap your hands and bless them. Can I have a few more minutes? Look at somebody and say, why die when you can live? Glory to God. Amen. Throwing the hands up in a day like today. I'm tired of trying. I'm tired of pressing. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of, of struggling. I'm tired. Amen. Whether you do it for God or not, you're going to struggle with something. 
Amen. You're going to really struggle if you walk away from God. Is anybody going to help me up in here? Amen. Can I go ahead? Amen. But, but the word says, I shall not die. Amen. But live. Mm -hmm. And declare the works of the Lord. I got purpose. Amen. For why I have to live and not die. Amen. He goes on to say, the Lord has chastened me sore. Amen. So, so for everybody that, amen, feels like, amen, that, uh, amen, going through trials and tribulations and, amen, and things going on in my life and, and whatever, and I, I'm just tired and I can't make it. How many know the Lord chasing them that he love? Is anybody going to help me up in here? Glory to God. Amen. And sometimes because he loves you, amen, and because he knows that we love him, uh, glory to God. Amen. How about he's going to chasten us? Uh, amen. He's just not going to turn us loose any kind of way. Y'all talk to me. Uh, glory to God. Amen. Some of the trials come. Uh, amen. Because if we didn't have trials, uh, how many know we would live a dime with a dog meat? Uh, Y'all talk to me up in this house. Uh, amen. If God didn't chasten us, uh, amen. And we didn't go through trials and tribulations. Uh, you know what we would do? Uh, amen. We wouldn't be in church on today. Uh, can I get some help? Uh, you definitely wouldn't be living holy. Uh, amen. Why? Because you would feel uh, amen, that I can do what I want to do. Uh, amen. But I want to let you know today uh, amen, that God got a standard of living for his people. Uh, Y'all go help me up in here. Uh, and you know what? Uh, amen. It's a whole lot more. Uh, amen. Than what we look like on the outside. Uh, amen. What's on the inside? I want to show up on the outside. But you know what? We got a whole lot of dressed up and dressed down devils too. Is anybody going to help me? I mean, your heart got to be right. Your spirit got to be right. Your prayer life got to be right. Is anybody talking to me? You got to have go ahead in your spirit. What's causing you to back up on God? What's causing you? To put everything else before God. And then come into his house and tell somebody how much you love him. He said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Y'all going to talk to me up in here? Yeah. Amen. And keeping the commandment of the Lord. Amen. One of them is, uh, amen, that we got to put him first. Uh, amen. If he don't be first, he ain't going to be nothing. Uh, let me tell you something. Uh, amen. I'm afraid some of this stuff that we run in behind and some of this stuff that we put before God, uh, amen, it's going to cause us to miss, uh, amen, the greatest move spiritually in your life, uh, amen, that you could have ever had. Uh, amen. You know, in order to receive, uh, amen, spiritual heights in the Lord. Uh, amen. You got to be expecting them. Uh, Y'all gonna talk to me up in here. Uh, amen. Amen. When you expect something from God, uh, amen, that means you're gonna go after it. Uh, amen. With everything that you got in you. Uh, yes, you will. Uh, amen. Everything else is on the back burner. Uh, amen. Why? Because my mind is fixed uh, and my heart is fixed. Uh, amen. On getting in that place in God. Uh, and so everything else, uh, amen, gotta take a back seat. Uh, friends gotta take a back seat. Uh, Family members got to take a back seat. Job got to take a back seat. Got the God that I serve. He's the one that supplieth. He's the one that maketh a way where there be no way. He said, if I got a cow on a thousand here, if I was hungry, I wouldn't even tell God. He's able to do what has to be done. Why is he not first in your life? Why are you dying? Because you don't have a desire to live. Huh? Your desire has turned back to the things of the world. It's sad, but too many of God's people desire is for the natural things, for materialistic things. It's all about them, and it's not towards God. Can, can I go ahead? Can somebody say, why die when you can live? Amen. But, but David said, the Lord has chastened me sore. Look at this. But he has not given me over unto death. He's chasing me sore. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. I've been through a lot of things. David said, I keep running for my life. And folk are always trying to kill me. And even when I think I'm doing good, they want to kill me. Amen. The Lord have chasing me sore. Amen. But he has not given me over unto death death. Amen. So then the question again is, why die when God say you can live? Well, why are you trying to die? 
Can I get some help up in here? Yeah. Thank you, God. Amen. In, in, in our lesson text, thank you, God. Amen. Uh, uh, in Revelation, thank you, God. That first, second verse says, be watchful. Thank you, God. Be, 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 be watchful. Be watchful. Amen. You can't be comatose and watchful at the same time. Thank you, God. Amen. You, 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 you can't be, amen, laying up somewhere, amen, wanting to die. Don't, don't want to move. I just can't go no further. And I'm just tired. And well, the Lord, whatever, just let it be. No, amen. The doctors will tell you, thank you, God, amen, that when they have done all that they can do for a person, amen, they will come to you, amen, and say, thank you, God, amen. At this point, it's up to two people. Mm -hmm. Amen. Number one, amen, is up to the one they say that the one that's up higher talking about God. Secondly, they say it's up to the person. Thank you, God. It's up to the person. Thank you, God. Amen. Because if that person doesn't want to live, they up out of here. Amen. It, it doesn't matter how much. Pray, can, can y'all help me? Glory to God, amen, how much you go in and read scripture, amen, and pray, amen, pray a scripture over them. If they do not want to live and they get up, amen, and they, they give up, amen, you know what? They going to leave here. Can somebody say amen? Uh, amen, because you know what? Uh, amen, that's a powerful force. Y'all help me up in here. Glory to God, thank you, God. Amen, the will of man is a powerful force. Can, can I get some help? That's the reason why, amen, we have to give our will over to God, amen, because it's a powerful force, huh? amen, and if we continue to hold on to our will, amen, we're going to be combating against the will of God, amen, because our will is all about what we think is best for us. Thank you, God. Amen. And if any way, amen, it's going to cause anything to interfere, amen, then we don't want to do that. Huh? Amen. But tell your neighbor, neighbor. You got to want to live this thing. Amen. You got to want to continue, amen, to grow in God. You got to continue to want to preach the gospel. Can, can I get some help up in here? You got to continue to want to, amen, study the word. Yes, you do. Glory to God to learn of God, amen, and to live this way. Amen. You got to continue, amen, to have a burden for souls, amen, and want to see people's lives turn around. Amen. Can I get some help? It's time for the church to stop saying, well, you know, don't nobody want to be saved. The devil is a liar. Amen. There are some people that want to be saved. Amen. Everybody don't want to go to hell. Amen. But there are some people. Uh, amen, that God has empowered us to reach. Uh, amen, but because we laying up somewhere comatose, uh, amen, ain't got no desire to live. Uh, are y'all helping me up in here? Glory to God, amen. Then they're going around, uh, amen, and don't know what to do. Uh, amen, tell your neighbor, neighbor, uh, it's time for the church uh, to start back being the church. Uh, it's time for us to do, uh, amen, what we've been empowered to do. Uh, you ain't got the Holy Ghost uh, just for you to shout. Uh, Set your high part down, amen, and learn some word, amen, and go out and find somebody, amen, that don't know the Lord, amen, and use that power, amen, to win their soul for the Lord, and then when they come to the Lord, then both of y'all can shout, can I get some help, but if you ain't got nobody saved in a year's time, you ain't witnessing nobody, amen, in a month's time. You ain't got nothing to shout about. What are you shouting for? You don't throw your hands up. Amen. And you know what you're doing? You're letting your gift die. You're letting it die. Why, why die? Why let it die when you can live? Why die when you can live? Amen. You're in your purpose that God called you. Why die? Why die? Well, we know I'm just going through something. Well, get in line. If you plan on going anywhere in God, if you're planning on doing anything, amen, in God and being anybody in God, amen, you better first learn how to go through. If every time opposition hits your life, glory to God, amen, and you got to sit down and have a pity party and put God on the back burner, I mean, you can't go nowhere in God like that. Amen, you better believe the devil going to make sure he puts somebody on you, amen, to keep you down and out and depressed all the time because he know you ain't going to get up and do nothing, huh? amen, but you better raise your hand and thank God for the power that's inside of you. Huh? Can I get some help up in here? Huh? Amen, and then you got to rise up, huh? amen, and walk in that power, huh? amen, that, that's the sad thing about it. We got to 
the Holy Ghost living on the inside and he wants to work. Uh, amen. But nobody won't let him. Uh, amen. He wants to extend himself. Amen. But won't nobody let him. Uh, amen. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, uh, get out of the way of the Holy Ghost uh, and let him stretch himself. Uh, he wants to remain in you. Uh, amen. But you don't want him to. Uh, I wish somebody could help me. Uh, the Bible tells us uh, to be watchful. Be watchful. But I'm standing back and I'm just watching everything. I'm watching everybody. Amen. And I'm watching the pastor and I'm watching the bishop and I'm watching the apostle. I'm watching all the leaders to make sure that all of them live right. Amen. You know what this word here talking about? You better watch your own self. Can I get some help up in here? The Bible warns us, amen, that we better be well, lest we fall. Amen. When you think you stand it, you better be well, lest, lest you fall. Can somebody help me up in here? Glory to God. But he's saying be watched because number one, amen, in that first verse, he said, I know thy works, that thou has a name that you live in. You got, you got a name, but you know that's prophet is so-and-so, and that's evangelist so-and-so, and that's pastor so-and-so, and that's bishop, and that's apostle, amen, and that's the eldress, and that's this, and, and you know, you got a name. Amen. Because, uh, uh, you know, I remember, child, amen, 20 years ago when they witnessed to me and I got saved, amen, you got a name that was 20 years ago that somebody is testifying what you did. What have you done lately? Can, can somebody help me up here? You got a name that you live it. Woo but what did the word say? My God. Uh-huh. And are dead. That gift is dead. Amen. And, and, and if it ain't dead, anything that's dying is soon to be dead. Is, is anybody going to talk to me? Can I have a few more minutes of your time? Or look at your neighbor and say, she can preach it this morning. Thank you, God. And look at somebody and ask them, say, why, why die when God said you can live? Thank you, God. He said, but be watchful. Amen. And do what? Strengthen the things that remain. Strengthen the things that remain. Let me help you with this. Amen. You have to be careful that you don't stop right there. Strengthen the things that remain. Amen. Because what you would do is, amen, you would look for those areas that you feel like you are functioning and that you are perfected in. Thank you, God. Amen. Because, see, I'm still able to preach and I'm still able to teach and I'm still able to sing and I'm still able to do all of these things. Amen. So I'm going to keep on doing what I'm doing. I'm going to strengthen that. Amen. But that's not what he's talking about. Amen. He says, strengthen the things that remain that are ready to die. Amen. You got to deal with them areas. Y'all y'all don't sit down on me. Uh -huh. Amen. I don't hit you where you live. That ain't. Uh -huh. Thank you, God. Amen. Strengthen the things that remain. Amen. That are ready to die. Amen. You need to look at what God called you to do. Amen. What he has given you power and anointed you to do. Amen. But you don't put it on the back burner. Amen. You ain't doing nothing with it. Hey, can I get some help up in here? Amen. And for that reason, amen, it's just about to die. I tell your neighbor it's about to die. Can we help you with something? Amen. It doesn't matter whether we sing or whether we preach or whether we pray. Amen. Or whether we play instruments or what have you. Let me tell you what you got to do. Amen. You got to put some work into it. You got to put some work into it. Thank you, God. It doesn't matter how long we've been preaching. Glory to God. We still got to study this word. Thank you, God. Can I get some help? Amen. It doesn't matter amen, how long you've been teaching the word and how long you, amen, you've been prophesying and how long you've been singing and praying. Glory to God. If you don't put no work into it, amen, you will never become as good as what you are. I wish somebody could help me. Glory to God. And if you don't watch yourself, amen, you will lose the very anointing that you used to have on it. Can somebody talk? I feel the Holy Ghost. Can somebody talk to me up in here? Amen. Tell your neighbor, you got to put time in. Amen. God blesses us. Amen. And God gives us gifts and calls and ministries. Uh, thank you, God. Amen. For the building of the saints of God, for the edifying of the house of God. Amen. But then what do we do with it? Uh, amen. We put it to the side. Amen. And we don't touch it and we don't do nothing with it. Amen. Until the next time we go to church. Uh, amen. How do we expect? Uh, amen. To be anointed. How do we expect? Uh, glory to God for God to add to us. Uh, if we don't give God back that, y'all talk to me. Uh, amen. And ask the Lord. Uh, amen. To Lord. Uh, amen. Give me a greater anointing upon this. Uh, I need the anointing of the day. Uh, I need the anointing of the hour. Uh, can somebody help me up in here? How uh, many know with the world?
getting wicked uh, and devils are being loosed and bold, uh, don't you think uh, that you got to be increased in your power uh, and increased in your anointing? Uh, amen. Why do you still think, uh, amen, that you can do, uh, amen, at a baby stage, uh, amen, what needs to be done at a perfected, mature stage? Uh, somebody clap your hands and scream for me in this house. Why die when you can live? Everything that God gave us and that he gives to us is precious in his sight. Why die when God said you can live? Can, can I go ahead? I'm, I'm, almost, I'm almost there. Thank you, God. Amen. Amen. So strengthen, be watchful, and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die. He says, for I have not found thy works perfect before God. You see that? Amen. It doesn't matter whether or not you're doing it. Amen. If it ain't glorifying God, it's just like you ain't doing nothing. Can, can I get some help up in here? Thank you, God. Amen. Verse number three says, remember therefore how thou hast received and heard what you received and what you heard and hold fast to that and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, somebody say a warning, a warning said, I will come on thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I have come upon thee. If Samson was up in here today, amen, you know what Samson would say? Glory to God, amen. I had strength like no other. Can somebody say amen to the house? Amen. But you know what I kept doing? Amen. I kept messing around with it. Glory to God. Can I, amen. I took it for granted. I kept messing around with it. Amen. Stay before the Lord, amen, that God would help increase, amen, I kept playing around with the world, y'all help me, amen, can I get some help up in here, amen, I got too worldly with it, I got the joking around with it, y'all help me up in here, I took it for granted, amen, and you know what, glory to God, amen, amen, when he lost his strength, amen, how many know, amen, it's because he laid his head, glory to God, in the wrong lap, can I get some help up in here, tell your neighbor, don't lay your head, in Dalila's lap. Don't let the devil fool you. Can I get some help? Huh? Amen. You know what the Bible said? Huh? Amen. The Bible said that when he stood up, huh, he shook himself like he normally would do. Huh? And you know what? He didn't even know that the Spirit of the Lord had left him. God, I feel the Holy Ghost. Huh? Amen. Tell your neighbor, it's time for you to check yourself. Huh? It's time for you to shake yourself. Huh? Amen. And see whether or not you still got an anointing. Huh? Amen. Do you still, y'all help me. Huh? Amen. Do you still have power? Huh? Amen. Amen. Do you still, amen, have the gift, uh, amen, in your life? Is the Holy Ghost, uh, amen, still in your life? Uh, or have he left you uh, and you are operating on the ability of knowledge, know-how? Huh? Why die? Why die when you can live? Can, can I go ahead? Uh-huh. The Bible says in Luke, Thank you, God. Amen. That there was a, a certain man that had a fig tree. Thank you, God. And it was planted in his vineyard. The, the fig tree was planted. It was in the vineyard, just like all of the other fig trees. Uh-huh. Amen. And he came and sought fruit thereon and found none. Amen. He, he was looking for what? He was looking for fruit, and the Bible says he found none. No, not narrow one. Huh? Amen. Verse number seven says, Then said he unto the dresser of the vineyard, Behold, these three years I've come seeking fruit on this fig tree. He said, And I found none. Mm -hmm. Cut it down. Why cumber it, it the ground? Why you keep cluttering up the ground? Can I get some help up in here? Amen. I, I searched it. Thank you, God. Amen. And I found out that most fig trees take between three to five years, amen, to start ripening fruit. Amen. From three to five years. Amen. The, 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 this, this, the master of this vineyard said, I came mm -hmm, and I had been coming for three years. My God, my God. If I look at number five being the year, amen, that, that's, the, that's the number of grace. Amen. I, there should have been some fruit. Amen. Because in, in history says that for some fruit trees, amen, you can start producing at two, two years. Thank you, God. Amen. So there ought to be something somewhere. Amen. But, but even if we look at it, amen, and say, thank you, God, amen, that this particular tree, amen, had taken five years. Five years. Uh huh. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. This man said, I've been coming for three years. 
Amen. And I have not found, amen, no fruit. Amen. That's the reason why some people would look at it and say, amen, well, why in the world did he jump to the conclusion just to cut it down? Amen. Just wait a while. Just wait a while. Amen. Because he had already been coming, amen, at the time that there should be fruit. Glory to God. Amen. And was finding nothing. Can I get some help? Can I ask a question today? Amen. What kind of fruit you got on you? How much fruit do you have on you, amen, from the time that you were filled with the Holy Ghost, from the time, amen, that you were called to do what you're called to do, amen, what kind of fruit you got, amen, that's added to that gift that God put inside of you, glory to God, amen, and the Lord is saying to us, I keep coming back, uh, amen, year after year after year after year after year, amen, seeking fruit, uh, amen, but I'm constantly finding nothing. Tell your neighbor, this is a final call. This is the final call for the church world. Y'all better help me up in here. Amen. Well, what else does the Lord need to do? Amen. For us. This is the final call. He said, I keep coming. Uh, glory to God. Amen. And I'm not finding any fruit. Uh, amen. So then what is the problem? Uh, amen. The problem is uh, because you do not have a desire to live. Don't have a desire to produce. Satisfied having the gift. Satisfied being planted in the vineyard, but not producing no fruit. Is anybody going to talk to me? I'm coming. Can I have a few more minutes of your time? He said, cut it down. Huh? Cut, cut it down. Why cumber it, it the ground? Verse number eight. And he answering said unto him, the vine dresser, thank God for intercessors. Amen. Folk get mad with pastors, amen, and want to fight them and cuss them out, amen, and talk about them and run them down, amen. But you ought to thank God for pastors. You better thank God. Can I get some help? Because a lot of times you don't even understand. Thank you, God, amen. They, they, they are the ones that got your back, amen. The ones that you complaining to, about them too, amen. They ain't studying you. They ain't praying for you. Can I get some help up in here? They just like to hear you run somebody down because that's what they do. Uh, can I, y'all talk to me up in here? Amen. But you ought to bless God for your pastor. Hello? Amen. Amen. For pastors indeed. Uh, amen. Whether you belong to that church or not. Uh, amen. Because you know what? They be praying for you. Uh, amen. They be praying that God will save you and deliver you. They be praying that God will keep you. Uh, amen. They be in a seat on your behalf. Can I get some help? Uh, amen. Telling the Lord God strengthen them. God open their eyes and let them see what the devil trying to do to them. They interceding that you will be strong. Amen. And grab hold to God. Amen. And don't let go. The Bible says in verse number 8, and he answered and said unto him, Lord, let it alone this year also. Give it another year. Give it one more chance. Mm -hmm. look, at, look at this. Amen. Not just a, don't cut it down and just leave it alone and that's all. But look at what he said now. Thank you, God. He said, till I. There got to be some workers in the kingdom. They got to be somebody that is concerned. They got to be somebody that's bold enough, amen, and powerful enough to stand. Glory to God, amen. Amen. To say to a dying tree, glory to God, amen. Amen. You are dying. Amen, amen, and you're cluttering up the ground. Amen, what do you need to do? Get off the praise team. Get out of the choir stand. Get off the poor pit. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me up in here. Amen, get off, amen, those auxiliaries. Uh, amen, until you can start producing fruit. Because until then, the only thing that you're doing, amen, is cluttering the ground. Ooh, I wish somebody could help me preach this word on today. Amen, come on and tell your neighbor, neighbor. It's time to grow some fruit. It's time to grow the fruit. Can I get some help up in here? Thank you, God. In Revelation, amen. You remember, amen, that, amen, that the Lord spoke, amen, and said that, amen, that, that you got the name that you're living. Let me tell you something. There ain't nothing in the name, baby. Y'all better help me up in here. Thank you, God. You know what? Amen. It, it, it's when the quality goes in that the name go on. Amen, amen, if uh, people just want a name now, I just want to be called by a name, amen, a name ain't nothing, amen, and you ain't got no quality, 
You ain't got no character. You ain't got no power. Y'all better talk to me. Glory to God. Amen. You ain't got no anointing. Amen. You ain't got no wisdom. Amen. You ain't even got a desire to live. Amen. And help nobody else to live. Amen. You don't even know how. Amen. To win a soul to the Lord. How to pray nobody through in the Holy Ghost. Amen. But you still want to say, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm an intercessor. I'm a pastor. I'm a preacher. Amen. I'm an evangelist. Amen. I'm this and I'm that. Amen. And you don't even know how to win a soul to the Lord. Y'all better talk to me. Amen. Tell your neighbor, neighbor. And then why are you covering the ground? Amen. If you don't want to do nothing, get out of the way. Can somebody help me up in here? Amen. Come on, come on. Somebody shout up in here. Amen. Say it's time to be about the Lord's business. It's time to be about the Lord's business. Amen. This ain't, it's almost over, y'all. Amen. And we ain't even done half of what God has empowered us to do. You know what? You can do more than what you are doing. Can I go ahead? I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming. Y'all still feel that short-winded spirit this morning? Amen. I, I feel the short-winded. Uh-huh. Look at this. Look at this. Let it alone this year also till I shall dig about it and dung it. Amen. Dung is manure. Ain't no good smell to it. Amen. But it works. Huh? Those of you that have a problem with people being offended with you and being upset with you because of the gospel, you need to get out the way. Can, can somebody help me up in here? Amen. Because this vine dresser here, you know what he said? Amen. Leave it to me. Amen. I have the wisdom, the knowledge. Amen. I've been empowered and I know what to do to a dying tree. Can, can somebody help me up in here? Let me do what I need to do. Y'all, I'm, 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 talk, I'm talking about witnesses up in here now. Christians, believers, born again believers. Can I get some help? Thank you, God. He said, till I dig about it. Thank you, God. Amen. Let me, let me do some Holy Ghost, amen, counseling and witnessing and, you know, whatever. Let, let me dig about it. Thank you, God. Amen. Let, let, let us see what the problem is. And then, amen, let me dunk it. Amen. Take this your word. Amen. And we're going to apply that word to that area. Can, can somebody help me up in here? Amen. Now, this ain't no time for you to be getting mad with me now. Amen. Because, see, this is what the word got to say about it. Amen. If you want to live, oh God, this is what you're going to have to do. Amen. You're going to have to let me dung you. I, I, I wish I had somebody that could holler up in here. If, if you want to live, you're going to have to let me dung you every now and then. Can somebody say amen in the house? Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Look at what he's saying. Amen. And then he said this. Amen. And if it bear fruit, well. Thank you, God. Amen. If it bears fruit. Glory to God. Amen. If you witness, amen. And if you pray for them and you intercede, amen. And you show them in the word, amen. And you hold them accountable. There got to be accountability. You can't do what you want to do and think that you can function in the house of God. Amen. You got to come up. Tell your neighbor, you got to come up. And you got to be accountable, amen, for why you are not being all that God has anointed you to be. Can, can I go ahead? Can I go ahead? And if it bear fruit, well, if they change, if they come up, if they grow up, if they mature, if they get in a position that God can use them, thank you, God, amen, then well. Okay, then put them back in position. And can I get some help up in here? Amen. Let them get back on the praise thing in the choir. Let, let, let them get them back on the usher board. Let them get back in the music and whatever. Yeah. Amen. If they bear fruit, then well. Thank you, God, amen. And if not, then after that, thou shalt cut it down. After that, if ain't nothing changing, come on, ain't nothing changing. Thank you, God. It's time to move something. Can somebody say amen? Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, well, well why die? Thank you, God. Amen. Because the, 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 the vine dresser, amen, thank you, God, is willing to do what has to be done in order for it to live. Y'all, come on, stand up. I'm, I'm coming. Huh? To live. So if God say I can live and I can produce Amen. Then why would I die? Why, why would I settle? Why would I die here and then have to die and go to hell? When I can live. Amen. And be an asset to the kingdom of God. 
can, 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 I, can I say this in my closing? Thank you, God. Amen. As I said earlier, what isn't already dead is dying if you don't breathe life back into it. I'm just going to give you some little golden nuggets so you can pack it in your pocket and you can pull them out. Amen. Mm -hmm. So again, whatever, what isn't already dead is dying if you don't breathe life back into it. Can somebody help me? Amen. Revitalize what you have. In other words, give new life and passion to it. Amen. Amen. Stop. Amen. Taking things. Amen. Amen. And well, I don't want to do this anymore. I used to sing on the praise team, but I don't want to do that anymore. Amen. I want to do something else. Amen. I, I, I used to, amen, teach Sunday school, but I don't want to do that anymore. I want to do something else. I used to usher. Amen. I, I used to do this, but I don't want to do that no more. I want to do something else. Amen. Why? Because you're not producing anything where you are. Amen. So then you feel that if I move and I do something else, amen, then I'm going to produce. It's not going to work like that. Glory to God. Amen. Because if non production is in you, if unproduction is in you, amen, it doesn't matter where you go and what you do in the church. You're going to be unproductive wherever you are. Amen. So what you have to do is, amen, become a producer. I wish somebody could help me. I'm coming. I'm coming. I told y'all to stand up, didn't I? Thank you, God. So tell your neighbor, you got to bring it back to life. You got to give, amen, you got to give new life to that gift. My God, my God, my God. Can somebody say amen? Amen. Because you know what I told the Lord? I, I, I told the Lord, I said, Lord, amen, I, I, make, I make a preach. I love preaching, y'all. I love preaching. I said, I, I make a preach like I used to. Uh-huh. Amen. Because I, I used to, amen, run back and forth in the, amen, in the poor pit. Amen. About 10 miles back and forth, going back and forth. Thank you, God. Amen. But now I got, this, I got to stand here and hold on a little bit. Amen. Amen. Now and then I can back up, but then I got to come back and grab it. Amen. But you know what? I still told the Lord. I said, God, you know what? I said, I want to still go out greater, amen, than what I came in. I want to be stronger, amen, in the last of my years, amen, than I was in the beginning of the year. I wish somebody could help me up in here, amen, tell your neighbor, neighbor, amen, if you put more into it, amen, and you give it back to God, he'll anoint that thing all over again, amen, he'll give you what you need, amen, to do what got to be done. Somebody throw your hands up and say, Lord, anoint me afresh. Yeah, I want to be right smack dab in the middle of your wheel. Amen. Can, can I go ahead? Give new life, new life. Tell somebody, breathe new life into it. Thank you, God. Another golden nugget. It ain't too late. It ain't too late now. Because see, the blood running warm in your veins. Thank you, God. Amen. You have potential because you're, getting, you're in the house. God, hallelujah. Amen. Next. Amen. There is still time to be revived. Amen. Tell your neighbor that time to be revived. Thank you, God. Amen. To return to a to consciousness. Amen. And become active and flourishing. How many want to be active and flourish? Amen. How many want to get so look at your neighbor and say, I want to get something done. Come on, come on. I want to get something done. But you know what? Amen. In order to have that kind of mindset, how many know? Amen. You got to have that motivation within you. Amen. You, nobody has to pat you on the back. Amen. And say, okay, come on, let's do this. Come on, let's do this. Amen. It has to be on the inside of you. Amen. That has to be the reason why you wake up in the morning. Amen. And the reason why you stay before God during the day. Amen. And the reason why, amen, at night, that's what you talk to God about. Because it's in you. Somebody say it's in you. Amen. And if it's in you, uh, amen, you're going to eat, sleep, and poop it. Is anybody going to talk to me that, that, that because what's in you going to come up out of you? Tell your neighbor you're going to eat, sleep, and poop it. That's what you're going to do because it's in you. Ooh. Want you look at your neighbor and ask them, say, neighbor, why stay in neutral? Why stay in neutral? You have the potential, but stuck in neutral. All you got to do is shift gears. My God help my life. All you got to do is make a change. Amen. All you got to do, amen, is look forward and see, amen, that there's still a road ahead of me. Amen. But I'm going to have to get out of neutral, amen, and I got to press the gas. I got to, amen, I got to push. Tell you that, but you got to push a little bit. You have the potential to do it. What's the hold up? Because if you stay in neutral too long, you know what's going to happen? You're going to shut up after a while. Amen. You got cars that do that automatically. Amen. After a while, it's going to shut down. Thank you, God. But I don't care how much gas you have in the car. Amen. Let it keep running. 
after a while, amen, it's going to shut off because you're going to lose gas. Less. Seize the moment. Seize the moment. Who is to say, amen, that this moment is going to come back around for you again? Hmm? So while the Lord is saying to us today, thank you, God, amen, live, work, huh? Amen. They got some saying that says live and play and something. This ain't no time to be playing. Don't play. Amen. This is the time to live and work. Amen. Let the will of the Lord be done in your life. Can somebody say amen? Thank you, God. Amen. In, 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 in my closing, be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die. For I have not found thy works perfect before the Lord. Huh? It's not mature yet. It's not perfected yet. It say no time to sit back and cross our legs and say it's over. It's time to work. Work while it's day. But when night cometh, no man can work. Come on and give the Lord praise and glory. How many receive the word on today? Amen. Amen. Come on and bless him real good. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Come on, bless him real good. Thank you, God. Amen. Amen. Why don't you lay hands on your own head? Thank you. Amen. And said, I shall not die but live to declare the works of the Lord. Now look at somebody, amen, and ask them, neighbor, why die when God said live? Come on and clap them hands and bless them. God bless you. Amen. We thank you, Lord. Amen. There may be somebody in the house on today. Maybe somebody under the sound of my voice. Ooh, can we just bless God again for his presence? My God. Ooh, can you praise him for the word? How many receive it on today? How many feel like growing? How many feel like growing? Thank you, God. Amen. How many feel like growing? My God, my God, I feel like growing. I want to grow. I want to increase. I want to be all that God wants me to be. I don't want to be just hanging around the edge. I want to launch out into the deep. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Bless the Lord. Amen. So there may be someone, thank you, God. Amen. That say, Pastor, I, I need prayer on this morning because I don't want to die. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. I want to live. Amen. To declare the works of the Lord. Thank you, God. Amen. I don't want my gift to die. I don't want to lose my anointing. I don't want to lose the power and the authority that God has given me. Thank you, God. But I know that I haven't done anything with it. I know, thank you, God. Amen. That I'm just, li just, w just working it on the edge. Thank you, God. I could do a whole lot more than what I'm doing. Amen. But I'm not doing it. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. If that's you, come on. Thank you, God. Amen. It's time for us to get what we need. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Amen. Amen. And amen. Bless the Lord. Amen. So, if you, amen. If you're here, amen. And this is what you desire more from the Lord. Thank you, God. Amen. Then now is the time. Now is the time. Thank you, God. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. You ain't got to tell me all about it. Just tell the Lord all about it. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Amen. Lord, I'm giving my gift back. I'm giving it up. I'm offering it up back. I'm offering it back up to you. Thank you, God. I'm offering my life up to you, God. Thank you, God. Amen. I'm asking you, Lord, glory to God, to do it in me all over again. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Speak a life to me. Speak life to me, God. Speak life to my gift. Speak life. Glory to God. Hallelujah. New life. New life. New life. Yeah. New life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Come on. That's it. All you got to do is tell God what you want. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. It is the will of God that we live and not die. Glory to God. It is the will of God. Hallelujah. Amen. That we produce and bring forth fruit. It is the will of God that we be strong glory to God hallelujah that we be strong amen and courageous it is the will of God glory to God so we're just offering that back up to the Lord glory to God Lord I'm standing before you amen amen I'm doing what I have to do as far as the pastor is concerned amen praying for you but I got my hand up before the Lord too glory to God hallelujah amen I'm gonna 
oh God, to anoint me afresh. I, I need a fresh anointing. I, I need a fresh wind to blow over my life. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Every, every time the Lord is moving, I want God to move in me as well. Glory to God. I don't ever want to be in a place amen, to where I feel like I have arrived. And, amen, amen, and I don't need anything from the Lord. Amen. I need God. I need God. I need the strength of God. I need the wisdom of God. I, I need the power of God. Come on. I feel the Lord pouring it out even now. Glory to God in the name of Jesus. Uh. Glory to God. Father, right now, look on your people, God. Uh. Lord, that are standing before you. Amen. With hands lifted up before you. Oh, with a hunger and thirst, God. Amen. Down in their bellies. Uh. Father, we ask right now, God, uh, Lord, that you will pour into them, oh God. Uh. Strengthen that that remain, oh God. Uh. That thing that's about to die. Uh. That thing that's laying dormant, God. Uh. Amen. That will not be using uh, Lord in the name of Jesus uh, amen that very gift that call that ministry that area uh, oh God help us Lord uh, glory to God that we have not uh, amen kept up before you we're asking you now Lord uh, Lord that you would anoint it afresh uh, Lord stir me stir me stir me like I've never been stirred before uh, stir us oh Lord God uh, in the name of Jesus yes Lord Yes, Lord. Uh, amen. Remove uh, amen, that complacent spirit. Uh, remove uh, that self-righteous spirit. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Lord, in the name of Jesus, get it out of the way. Uh, amen. So that we can come boldly. Uh, and we can be humble. Uh, and we can come to you uh, and say, Lord, help us. Uh, we are in a time of need. Help us. Uh, so that we can be a blessing amen, to the kingdom of God. Uh, do it, Lord. You know? In the name of Jesus, the hand of the Lord be upon you now. Yes, yes. It's time to go deeper. God, it's time to it's time to remove from the surface. And it's it's time to get weightier in God in the spirit. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. He said, ask and it shall be given. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened unto you. Amen. We're not seeking material things today. Amen. God, we want your anointing. God, we want your power. God, we want to experience more of your glory, God, in the name of Jesus. A way to your tongue. Wisdom, God. Knowledge, understanding of your will, your word, and your way, God. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, uh, speak life today. Ooh, speak life. Speak life. Can you receive it today? Speak life. Speak life. Every man for himself, speak life. Come on, that's it. That's it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. This is the time in which we are in. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. That we get into the presence of the Lord for ourselves. And we call on the Lord for ourselves. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Our answer is yes. Yes, Lord. I want to be for your glory, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Move everything and anything that's hindering me, Lord. That's hindering my growth, God. Move it out of the way, God. Crucify my flesh. Crucify self. Move me out of the way so that you can be glorified. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, God, we thank you for it. Receive it at the hand of God. That's it. Receive it. That's it. When you're hunger, he'll come. <laughs> the more you pull on him, the more he'll show up. He come on the Osaya. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you for it now. While these are 
seeking God and praying God. There may be somebody that don't know the Lord in the pardon of your sins. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Now is the time. Hallelujah. The Bible says, thank you, God, the day that you hear my voice, harden not your heart. The day is the day of salvation. Today is the day of deliverance. Today is the day, not tomorrow. Today is the day. Hallelujah, God. If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. <laughs> For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, but with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Thank you, God. We believe you for deliverance, for divine healing. We believe you for total restoration in our souls. We thank you for it on today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on and clap them hands and believe. Just believe. Just believe. And it shall be done. God bless you. Heaven smile upon you. Amen and amen. On the way back to your seat, just amen. Look at your neighbor and say, I believe God. Amen. I believe God. God bless you. Amen. Heaven smile upon you. Again, we bless God. How many received the word today? Thank you, God. Amen. Anybody feel like living? Anybody feel like living? I feel like living on today. Feel like growing in God. Feel like going forth in the Lord. God bless you. Amen. Heaven smile upon you. Amen. Again, we thank God for being God. Amen. You, God loves us. He's concerned about everything that concerns us. Amen. But we are without excuse. Amen. God's people are without excuse. Amen. Because the Lord has given us everything that pertains to life and godliness. Everything that we need. God has already given it. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Whatever you need, all you got to do is go to God. Just go to God in prayer. Amen. And let the Lord do what only the Lord can do. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Again, let's thank God for his presence on today. Amen. My God. My God. Just to be in the presence of the Lord. Just to be in the presence of the Lord. Thank you, God. Amen. To have the mind. To want to be in the presence of the Lord. Let me tell you. Amen. Thank you God. You get in God's house. Which you can't get in your own house. Amen. That, that, that's a message that needs to be preached throughout the church world. Thank you God. You, you, you can't get in your house what you get in God's house. Amen. And that's something that the devil. Amen. A seed the devil has planted. Amen. In the church. Amen. Telling God's people. Amen. You ain't got to go to church. You ain't got to go to church. You ain't got to be in church. He don't, he don't never come to you and say, you ain't got to go to Walmart. You ain't got to go to work. You ain't got to go to work. What you going to work for? You ain't got to go to work. Hey Amen. Hey man, you, you ain't got to go to the doctor. Don't go to the dentist. You, you ain't got to do, do that. He ain't going to tell you that, but he will tell you don't go to church. Hey amen. Because the, amen, the, when you don't do that and when we don't do that, that's an act of disobedience. Because the Lord told us, hey amen, don't forsake the assembly. We got to come together. Thank you, God. God pours into us in the temple. This is his house. If I have something that I want to give to you and it's at my house, amen, that means you got to come to my house so I can give it to you. Well, I'm just going to stay home and when Pastor get ready to give it to me, she'll come to my house to give it to me. I ain't coming. Amen, because that make me think that you don't want what I got for you. Amen, amen. So what I'm going to do is, amen, if somebody else come to need it, and won't it and can appreciate it. I'm going to be like, here, can, can you, do you, would you like this? It's the same way in the house of God. You got to have a desire, a hunger, a thirst for the things of God. Where else can you go and get the things of God? Except in the house of God. In the house of the Lord is the fullness of joy. In his presence, amen. We just love him. God bless you, amen. At this time, again, amen. We just thank God for each and every one of you, amen. And we, amen, that this word will be a blessing, amen, in your life, in your life. Thank you, God, amen. We desire your prayers, people of God, amen. Somebody say tomorrow night. 
Amen. Tomorrow night, tomorrow night, amen, holy convocation. Thank you, God, amen, begins, amen, in Dallas, Texas. Thank you, God, amen, amen. Bless the Lord, amen. And we are up, up, and away. Thank you, God, amen. We're excited, amen, to see what it is, amen, that God is going to say to us on this year. Thank you, God. We want to know what God is saying, amen, and amen. need God to pour into us, amen, and give us what we need to be able to do what he's requiring of us, amen. Thank you, God, amen. It's not time for the church to die. It's time for the church to live. Not time for you, the people of God, to die. It's time for you to live. Doesn't matter how much sin abounds. Amen. The anointing on your life shall abound. Amen. That press on the inside of you, amen, should abound more and more. Amen. So I want you to continue to pray, amen. Pray for the services, amen. For those of you, amen, that will not be attending this year. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I want you to pray. I want you to pray. Thank you, God. Amen. Amen for the, the services, amen, every day. Thank you, Lord. And make sure you hold your pastor up on Friday night. Hold me 